If you're one of the girlies that likes to wear perfume to bed, here are 10 perfumes you can wear to bed. But speaking of things you can wear to bed, I want to talk to you about the new Bubble Overnight Hydrating Sleep Mask. Thank you so much to Bubble for sponsoring this video. So Bubble will be available at Ulta starting October 30th and all of the bubble products are under $20. I wanted to spotlight their new overnight hydrating sleep mask because as we head into the cooler months and the winter, our skin gets drier and it's always great to have a really nice hydrating product in your skincare routine. I personally love a good hydrating mask in the winter time. All of the ones I typically use are always very expensive. So I'm very excited to have an affordable option. So overnight is a product that you wear all night long. This has ingredients like maple sap and biosaccharide to help soothe and bind moisture to skin and restore the skin barrier. Overnight is $19 and it's such an incredible formulation at a very affordable price. This is also vegan and cruelty free. To add overnight to your skincare routine, after you're done cleansing, applying your toner, applying your serum, applying your moisturizer and all that jazz, this is literally the final step of your nighttime skincare routine. Just apply to clean skin, leave on overnight and use it once to twice a week. I'll leave all details right down below, all the links, all the codes and everything else you need to purchase overnight mask at Ulta. Okay, let's get into the perfume. The first perfume I want to talk about for wearing to bed is Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a body mist and I think body mists are great for wearing to bed because you're not concerned about longevity or anything like that. Like once I get into bed, highest one hour or two hours I've slept off. So I feel like this is the perfect longevity for wearing to bed. This has notes of vanilla, sugar cookies and caramel and this is literally one of the best smelling perfumes I've ever tried. I really need Bath & Body Works to come out with this in a proper perfume because it smells amazing. Next on my list is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This is actually the hair mist which smells just like the perfume and this is such an incredible scent. I see why everyone loves it because it only just smells amazing. In my opinion, it's one of the best perfumes at this price point. It's a very gorgeous white floral. It's got some cocoa, it's got some tonka. There's a lot going on here, but it smells really amazing. I personally love the hair mist, but I also think the perfume itself is great for wearing to bed. And they also have a body oil as well. Another perfume I think is fantastic for wearing to bed, especially if you <coughs> have company, is YSL Lib Le Parfum. So men love all of the variations of Lib, so you can't go wrong with any of them. But my personal favorite is Le Parfum. This has ginger and honey, and it doesn't have any of those annoying notes that I didn't particularly love in the original Lib. So this is amazing, love it. If you like Lib, this is literally the best flanker that they have, in my opinion. Like, I literally gave out my original Lib and my Lib Intense, and I bought this one because <laughs> in my opinion, it's like the best leave. If you want something as soft and sweet, but it's not doing too much, the projection is not too much, it's just like really nice and really sweet, then you need to try Honey Rose from Marisa Zappas. And I really like this because like when you're going to bed, you're not necessarily looking for a beast mode perfume. You want something that someone just has to cuddle you closer just to get a better whiff of what you're wearing. And I feel like Honey Rose is that type of perfume. This is available from Lucky Scent with the code EJ10 and it smells fantastic. Just like the name says, this is literally honey and rose. Chef's Kiss, amazing perfume, 10 over 10, love it. For the vanilla girlies, Indulged Tihota is literally the best vanilla perfume there is. That's it. It's available at Lucky Center as well and I'll leave my code on the screen as well. This is by Francis Corrigan and it's a really nice vanilla and musk. It's a little bit fresh compared to all of the other vanillas that tend to lean more amber based. Great vanilla, 10 over 10, love it. Oh, by the way, mm. vanilla is allegedly a scent that men find very sexy. So I'll let you do with that information what you will. Okay, we're down to my top five and these are quite expensive. So just FYI, this is Forbidden Games by Killian. This is actually my favorite Killian perfume. This is rose, jasmine, honey. It smells, ooh, baby. It smells 
sexy AF. If you want something fresh, because I don't think I've actually talked about any fresh perfume in this video, but if you want something fresh, my favorite fresh perfume is Initial Musk Therapy. This is clean white musk, citrus, black currant, and it's just fresh sexiness in a bottle and it lasts a really really long time but it's not overpowering or irritating and i think like if you want to just keep up with that feeling of i just got out of the shower i smell fresh i smell clean then this is the perfume you want to go for this is available from twisted lily with code ej10 and again i'll leave all the links right down below but i'm just saying the codes in the video in case anyone wants to check out anything i'm talking about without having to click links i hope i'm in focus because if i shoot this whole video and i'm not in focus i can start crying another perfume that i love that i think is super super sexy is electimus mercurial cashmere mm, this is the most sexy caramel perfume and the bottle is so luxurious i swear this bottle is like a weapon it's so heavy if they need to hit somebody on the head the person can faint it smells really good lasts a really long time available from lucky scents with code ej10 if you're the type of girl who used to love do a gabbana the one this is like a more grown-up more sophisticated version of the one by Dolce & Gabbana. Second to the last is La Capitale by Zerjov. I've talked about this perfume a hundred times on this channel, on my TikTok, on my Instagram. It's my favorite perfume. This is strawberry, rose, vanilla, ginger, leather. It's just doing what it's supposed to do. It smells really good. It lasts a really long time. It is relatively soft for a Zerjov perfume, but the performance and longevity are above average which is pretty much par for the cause for Zerjov and I love it. Last but not the least is Nomad from Bond. The choke hold that this perfume has on me. So this is a fruity rose and wood. It's got a slight hint of amber and honestly it's one of the best wood perfumes out there. They just killed it. They just killed it. And it's such a compliment magnet like Every time I wear this, someone is always telling me how nice I smell. I'm like, thank you. For $440, I better be getting all the compliments. Um, this is probably the most expensive perfume here, but in my opinion, it's worth it. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys tonight. Make sure you check out Bubble at Ulta. I'm gonna leave all the links down below. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.